Hello students. So let us start today's topic of lifestyle modifications in management of hypertension. So according to the American Heart Association, pharmacologic treatment for hypertension is recommended in one of these two situations. If a patient has less than 10% estimated 10-year ASCVD risk, but a BP of more than 140 by 90 mmHg, in patients who have more than 10% estimated 10-year ASCVD risk, but the BP cutoff is lowered to 130 by 80 mm of Hg. So what does ASCVD stands for? It stands for atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. So the ASCVD risk is calculated using a calculator provided by the American Heart Association which includes various factors like the age, the gender, the race, ethnicity to which the patient belongs to, history of smoking, uh, history of comorbidities like diabetes and existing treatment for hypertension, his systolic, diastolic BP as well as his total cholesterol and his HDL cholesterol. So using these factors, the risk is calculated and based on whether it is less than 10% or more than 10%, the treatment is started. Now I want you to remember that the AHA released Guidelines regarding the pharmacotherapy of hypertension in 2017. In 2019, they also released a lifestyle modification for hypertensive patients in primary prevention. So the guidelines were released for primary prevention of cardiovascular diseases. So under this, they recommended the lifestyle modifications that we are going to discuss. Alright, so the lifestyle modifications have multiple interventions, the first of which is dietary sodium restriction. So the goal is to restrict sodium less than 1.5 gram per day. The total sodium chloride intake should be less than 6 gram per day. The impact of this will be a reduction of BP by 5 or 6 mm mercury. The weight reduction is the second intervention. The best goal is ideal body weight. This will again impact the BP by reducing it by 5 mm of mercury. So a DASH dietary pattern involves a diet high in vegetables, fruits, low fat dairy products, whole grains, poultry, fish and nuts. But it should be low in sweets, sugar sweetened beverages, red meats, saturated and total fat. So a DASH dietary pattern has the maximum impact on BP. It reduces approximately 11 mm of mercury. So this is your potential question which can be asked in your upcoming exams. The fourth intervention is enhanced potassium intake. So the goal is about 3.5 to 5 gram per day. This reduces the BP by 4 or 5 mm Hg. The fifth lifestyle modification is moderation in alcohol consumption. In individuals who drink less than 2 drinks per day for men and less than 1 drink per day for women is the goal. The target BP is reduced by less than 4 mm of mercury. Physical activity recommended is aerobic exercise, dynamic resistance and isometric resistance. This again impacts the BP of about 4 to 8 mm mercury. So these are the six main lifestyle modifications that have been recommended by the ARJ. So what is DASH? DASH stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. So Please remember the DASH is a potential question. They might ask you which among the lifestyle recommendations by AHA has the maximum impact. So that will have DASH weight. Okay. So the target BP in hypertensive patients is if you notice is less than or equal to 130 by 80 in all the criteria. Okay. But what are the clinical conditions that they discuss here is if there is a patient with no clinical cardiovascular disease, 
but a 10 year ASCVD criteria is less than 10%, he also has the same target. All right. Clinical cardiovascular disease or a 10 year ASCVD risk more than 10% has a similar BP goal. Adults with type 2 DM and adults with CKD also have to be bought under control with less than 130 by 80. So the goal I want you to remember for your MCQs is 130-80 across the clinical spectrums, including those with CKD, those with high risk, that is more than 10% ASCVD risk. All right. So based on whatever we have, you know, all these concepts that we have discussed, let us try to solve an MCQ. So which of the following is false regarding lifestyle modifications for managing essential hypertension as recommended by AHA 2019 guidelines. So, potassium diet of 3.5 to 5 gram is recommended per day. Option B, total sodium diet of more than 1.5 gram per day. Option C is limited alcohol consumption. Option D is dash diet. So, obviously, we'll have to first eliminate, you know, they're asking which of these is false. So, dash diet is recommended. So, option D is ruled out. Limited alcohol consumption is recommended. So, option C is ruled out. Potassium diet of 3.5 to 5 gram is recommended. So, again, option A is ruled out. So, the answer is option B. A total sodium diet of more than 1.5 gram per day is recommended. This is the false or the wrong option. Okay. So, the correct answer is option B. Total sodium diet more than 1.5 gram per day is recommended. Why? What was the recommendation that we have previously seen? As per the 2019 AHA guidelines, the total sodium intake should be less than 1.5 gram per day and the total sodium chloride intake should be less than 6 gram per day. Okay, so I want you to remember these two numbers 1.5 gram and 6 grams. All right. So, regarding potassium, I want you to understand that potassium supplementation, that is the goal of 3.5 to 5 gram, significantly reduces the BP. So, it is always recommended to have dietary modifications, okay, unless they are contraindicated. Where are they contraindicated? They are contraindicated in renal impairment, all right. So, with this, we have covered a small topic on lifestyle modifications in hypertension management according to the AHA guidelines. Alright. Okay. Thank you.